Hello my lovely people, welcome to your weekly angelic guidance with me, Julie Poole and Oscar. For those of you who are new here, welcome and thank you for joining us. And for the rest of you coming back, thank you so much. So get yourself a tea, a coffee, get yourself comfy, join me Julie on the sofa. Let's have a look what we've got going on for this week. Alrighty, my lovely people. So this is for the week of the 2nd to the 8th, the last week of Mercury Retrograde. And if any of you haven't seen that video, do go and have a look where I've talked about this is the most powerful Mercury Retrograde like ever. Um, it's been quite intense. Um, there's been a lot of purging, clearing, shifting, for some of you internally and for others of you externally, purging jobs and people and all sorts of other things, please know your efforts and your attention to yourself and your life will be paid back. The universe loves it when we do a bit of internal spring cleaning, external spring cleaning. Um, so what else do I want to tell you? beautiful new moon coming in next week so we're going to feel the endings now we're going to start to feel it a little bit lighter a little bit easier good 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 what's the main energy please okay five of coins what should i tell you the main energy for this week five of coins you're feeling a little bit like oh what the hell is going on don't panic, my darlings. This is a Mercury retrograde, retrograde going on. Let's see what else we have. And the tower. Good. So that's coming to an end. And the devil. Oh, my days. <laughs> Don't panic. Don't panic. I promise it's going to be all right. Don't panic. <laughs> we've got the king of swords. And we've got the five of wands. So let's look at this. Now, please don't panic, okay. We can feel and we know that this Mercury retrograde is all about getting everything that is still within us from this lifetime, from past lifetimes, from hereditary stuff, old patterns, old behaviours, old way of thinking. It's like the universe is saying, this is 2020. This is your year. This is the year to be happy, connected, part of, foundations, grounding. So all of us are not perfect, my darlings. We've all got stuff going on inside us, blocks, barriers, ways of thinking, and they stop, they block our abundance, our happiness, and the universe is using this Mercury retrograde to clear it all out. So what will happen after when we come out of this and mercury retrograde finishes on the 9th 10th depending where you are in the world the same day as the virgo full moon everything shifts forward into a better space it's like you've done the work tick here's your certificate here's your reward here's the abundance coming in now towards you because what was in the way blocking it you've sorted yay all right so that's why we've got this energy around so i want you to not panic not go into a woe is me um <laughs> they're just showing me some of you wanting to kind of get into bed and not get out again uh put the blankets over your head and just hide no that's no good either all right five of wands and the five of coins fives are numbers of change right now if you're leaving the see mercury retrograde can't get my words out if you are leading living your best life then you don't want to see this you like it exactly the way it is and if that is you leading this perfect best life where every single aspect of your life is working perfectly but i think you might be fibbing a little bit there unless you are one of the very rare people leading a charmed life. Most of us, me included, have got areas of our life that we would like to improve. It could be your health, it could be your relationships, it could be your connections, yeah? Whatever area it is, we've all got little bits in us going, I wish I could sort that, I wish I had more friends, I wish I had a better social life, I wish I had more money, wish, wish, wish. 
Well, wishes are the beginnings of manifestation, but on their own, they do nothing. Nothing at all. There's a lot more involved than just wishing on a start. There's work involved. So when you say, I wish I could connect better and have more friends, then we need to look at what's inside you that's blocking that. Because the universe doesn't bring you what you want. It brings you what you are what you're vibrating on, the resonance of what you're vibrating on. And if you are vibrating on, I don't trust people, there's going to be big barriers stopping you connecting. Those are the sorts of things that are falling down, coming away to enable those connections. If, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have beliefs in there of poverty, I'll always struggle, I always have, money doesn't grow on trees, all of that, then those beliefs you're, they're asking you to look at them and say, let's just dissolve those and let's align with abundance. So unless you're living the perfect life, you actually want to see these. Five is change. We want to change any attitudes around competition, which is to do with worth and self-worth. Right? They're better than me. They're luckier than me. That's all about you aligning with harmony rather than conflict. For those of you struggling, this isn't just about money. There's five of uh, pentacles. This is about feeling left out in the cold, lonely. Everybody else is having a lovely life and I'm, I'm not. This is what wants to change and shift. The devil coming in is another kind of energy around this, which is addictions, dependencies. I can't cope without them. I'm totally disempowered. Those sorts of beliefs are falling away. Now, you don't have to do this work. You don't, you see, I say the word work, I hear you groan. I get it. You don't have to do any of this. But if you imagine the other side of that, like a hill, we're climbing a hill or a mountain to sort things out and we put that effort in, we get to the top of the mountain and then whoosh, wee, it's easy, okay? And at the bottom of that is, is our abundance and our joy. So this is a week where you are just finishing off finishing off you're not necessarily purging every single little tiny weeny bit but you are clearing the big stuff that's in the way all right it's you're examining you're examining you you're examining your world you're examining what works and what doesn't so that it can shift and change and it can be as simple as acknowledging it and then deciding choosing i am going to the i am creator i am presence i am dissolving that right now i am releasing that right now yeah you can hand it over to the angels you can hand it over to god but usually we have to recognize it first all right because otherwise nothing changes so this is a week where you're finishing bits off fab because then the tower comes in which is what we want to see everything falling away that no longer serves you that's in the way blocking your happiness and bliss the tower collapses it this is collapsing a way of thinking a way of being an attitude it's collapsing it so that you are free then we have the king of swords coming in and the king of swords is truth clarity power empowerment it's like yes i can see clearly now the rain is gone the fog is cleared i can completely see where I'm heading and why, and why that thing that just happened happened, right? Why that conflict that I had perhaps, or that um, depression or sadness or whatever it is for you, why I had that? Because it gave me the opportunity to allow it to come up and come out and be cleared and released, okay? So hang on in there. Let's get some angel cards. Oh. Okay, that one wants to come. You have got Metatron. Metatron, Archangel Metatron is the boss of all the angels, okay? Very, very powerful, big, huge, enormous, lovely energy. That is what is around you this week. So I want you to harness it, all right? Now, they're using the picture here of Mother Teresa as a um, an example of this energy, which is compassion which is acceptance and mm, allowing and mm, it's all heart it's all heart it's all coming from the heart for you for you all right so as you 
identify any of those wibbles, wobbles and blocks. Come from the heart for yourself and say, I am ready to dissolve those. I'm ready for my heart to open. I'm ready to step into this beautiful energy of charisma, which is where, you know, this is kind of the emperor energy, isn't it? This charismatic, powerful, confident, at ease, person that is who is around you this week let's get one of the angels of atlantis cards to go with it should never wear black when i've got oscar around i'm absolutely covered in hairs all right that one okay all right makes sense freedom free Freedom, free dominion, freedom from your blocks, wibbles, wobbles, freedom from any karmic stuff you're clearing, freedom, freedom to be what? Freedom to be whoever you choose to be. The angel, archangel with this is Uriel. Archangel Uriel is the angel of emotional healing, feelings, okay? I want to feel good. I want to feel uplifted. I want to feel free. I want to feel free, free of restrictions, free of anything that's in the way. This energy that's been around that may feel a little chaotic, and it's not going to be for everybody, okay? It's not going to be for everybody, so that's all right. So if it doesn't resonate for you, okay. Uh, but this is to get you into an energy of freedom, freedom to create the best version of you in the moment, freedom to create your best life, freedom Mm, from all of those feelings that blocked your happiness, freedom. That is what's going on this week. I've got to say, guys, this is probably the heaviest, most intense reading that I have done for you, like, in forever. It's not negative. It is liberating. The outcome is freedom. So, work it, work it, work it, work it, okay? And we're coming out the other side, out of Mercury retrograde, out of the full moon. Remember that this is second to the eighth. The full moon is the ninth, tenth, depending where you are in the world, but generally in the ninth. And that takes us into a brand new week. And full moons mean completions, right? <laughs> finishing off stuff. So you're finishing off this energy that's been building up since early February you're finishing it off there will be a little tailback going on as Mercury comes out of shadow but we start to feel it getting lighter brighter as we go into the nights okay and we'll have a look at that all right my darlings thank you so much for joining me have a blessed week I am sending you all my love my heart to yours as always thank you so much for joining me and for your likes shares and subscribes and for those of you who don't know i do do monthly readings marches are up there's also an extended version and the links will be in the description box below and in the first comment that i've pinned all right have a great week lots of love bye bye